this is part 230, line 20B, Genesis NASA Extraterrestrial Space Nebula Solar System Wild Study. There's the alien radial signal with the equations, and that's the number we Google on May 15, 2012. NASA researchers stunt pilots prepare for Genesis probe return. That's from space.com. And as a system, said David Lingstrom, Genesis program scientist at NASA headquarters, Genesis marks NASA's first attempt to return extraterrestrial space. Uh, David Carlisle comes up. And then this is from the www.jpl.nasa.government. NASA mission suggests sun and planets constructed differently in June 23, 2011. Here's the artist's rendering of a Genesis spacecraft during collection phase of mission. And here's concentrator target being disassembled at JSC prior to long-term nitrogen storage post-return. This is Pasadena, California. Researchers analyzing samples returned by NASA's 2004 Genesis mission, have discovered that our Sun and its inner planets may have formed differently than previously thought. Data revealed differences between the Sun and planets in oxygen and nitrogen, which are two of the most abundant elements in our solar system. Although the difference is slight, the implications could help determine how our solar system evolved. We found that Earth, the Moon, as well as Martian and other meteorites, which are samples of asteroids, have a lower concentration of the 0 minus 16 than does the Sun. Said Cal Kevin McKean Keegan, a Genesis co-investigator from UCLA and the lead author of one of two science papers published this week. The implication is that we do not form out of the same solar nebula materials that created the Sun. Just how and just why remains to be discovered. The air on Earth contains three different kinds of oxygen atoms, which are differentiated by the number of neutrons they contain. Nearly 100% of oxygen atoms in the solar system are composed of 0 minus 16. But there are also tiny amounts of more exotic oxygen isotopes called 0 minus 17 and 0 minus 18. This sounds just like the other video. <laughs> I don't know what I did here. Sorry. Researchers studying the oxygen of Genesis samples found that the percentage of 0 minus 16 in the sun is slightly higher than on Earth or on other terrestrial planets. The other isotopes percentages were slightly lower. Another paper detailed differences between the sun and planets in the element nitrogen. Like oxygen, nitrogen has one isotope, N14, that makes up nearly 100% of the atoms in the solar system. But there's also a tidy amount of N15. Researchers studying the same sample saw that when compared to Earth's atmosphere, Nitrogen in the Sun and Jupiter has slightly more N14, but 40% less N15. Both the Sun and Jupiter appear to have the same nitrogen composition. As in the case for oxygen, Earth and the rest of the inner solar systems are very different in nitrogen. These findings show that our solar system objects, including the terrestrial planets, meteorites, and comets are anomalous compared to the initial composition of the nebula from which the solar system formed said Bernard Marty, a Genesis co-investigator from Center D Researchers, Petrokeeks, a C. Geo Meeks, and the lead author of the new science paper. Understanding the cause of such a hair, heterogeneity will impact our view on the formation of our solar system. So obviously this is just data, and we'll go on to 20C next.